can feel these ancient spirits watching you as you go deeper underground into this vast burial chamber. This is the burial chamber of the tomb of Seti I, the father of Ramses II. It's one of the deepest tombs in the valley. It's a closed tomb to the public. And to be in here, the size, I can't even explain. I, I'm talking in a whisper because it's just so magical and the colors are so bright. We have the night sky above. Look at the ceiling with the night sky and we have Isis with her sister Neftis on either side. And the journey of the king on the boats on the Nile going to the afterlife. It's beautiful. The ceiling depicts the Egyptian star signs as well as the journey that the king would have to take with the sun god during the night. Seti's tomb also includes the story of the destruction of mankind, where an enraged Ra has asked Hathor to transform into the furious goddess Sekhmet and come down to earth to vanquish the people who have not agreed with his religion. However, the people then feed Sekhmet a dyed beer which looks like blood, and Sekhmet in her intoxified state forgets about her mission on earth to destroy people leaving them with a very important lesson about their beliefs. Over many parts of the tomb you will see Seti depicted directly with the gods, including the god of the afterlife, Osiris. Apart from Osiris, we also see Seti depicted with Anubis, the leader of the dead, and Ra, the sun god, who will carry his spirit over the sky. We also see him with Horus, and all these gods are coming together to ensure that Seti is welcomed into the afterlife and receives an eternal life. On a column, we also see the young prince, Ramses II, who was there to welcome his father's sarcophagus into the tomb. In the room known as the Hall of Beauties, Seti is giving an offering of food and drink to Hathor, 